Welcome back now. Some track and field. Kingston College's celebration of lifting the Mortimer Geddes Trophy for the 33rd time continued from the National Stadium to their base at North Street today. Simon Preston has that story. The excitement, delight and jubilation came to North Street on Monday morning for the entire student and teacher body to embrace the moment of a record 33rd title. Kingston College's captain, Class 1 sprinter Bouaji Nkrumi, summed up how the team feels on the success. A very special feeling knowing that last year it was very emotional. We didn't want what we wanted. We didn't get what we wanted last year, but this year we came with vengeance. Middle distance runner and a 2,000 meter steeplechase winner, Gianni Henry, says this title was the best way to end his time in high school track and field. This is my final year at Kingston College. I'm very elated. Kingston College has done a lot for me and my brother. My brother and I, Eva. And to end my athletic career at Kingston College with a victory, it's a wonderful feeling. <laughs> Look at that. Head coach Leaford Grant is hoping this title win will turn into a winning streak for years to come. We will take it year by year. We will assess the team year by year. And then we will make our calculation based on our gap analysis. And, and Hopefully, God will it again, we will carry it up next year. But we'll surely go in for the title again. Another individual that was elated was a principal of Kingston College, Dave Myrie. Um, I'm very pleased that um, the trophy is back where it should be. Um, we lost it last year, and I'd say we gave it away last year. Um, and this year went back to the formula that we've always used, uh, and that formula worked. Uh, and listen, we lost by 15 points last year. We won by 72 points this year. Um, it just says we, we've gone back to what we know worked. Um, and, and it's always important to stick to what you know and be consistent. Myri says that more celebration is planned for the Kingston College team. We would have um, done a, a, a bit of a celebration for the team, but a number of them are competing in Karifta. So what we've decided to do is allow the youngsters to concentrate on Karifta, get through that Karifta. And right after Karifta, we're going to do something for them um, just to, you know, fit them and, and, you know, to celebrate with them because... Trust me, you know, many persons don't seem to understand what it takes out of these youngsters to go out there every day, um, function, compete, train, um, you know, and then having to do schoolwork all the same because teachers ask them for the same schoolwork as everybody else in their class who don't do any, um, any sports. So really, you know, we want to really um, celebrate with them for the hard work. This was Kingston College's first Boys Champs title since 2019. Simon Preston reporting for TVJ Sports. And Edwin Allen celebrated an 8th straight girls' champs title and a ninth overall as they returned to a rapturous reception at school assembly this morning. The Vuvuzelas were out as Sky Blue decorated the Frankfield campus at Edwin Allen High School on Monday morning to celebrate a ninth Issa girls' championships title. Their 57-point cushion over second-placed Heidel underscored Edwin Allen's dominance of a trophy they've now won for an 8th straight time but some expressed doubt about their ability to retain the trophy prior to champs. There were a lot of um, pre-champs, you know, touting going on around, and especially with the Clint twins and Idel and um, Brian Alistair and Idel to challenge us for our, for our title. But in the end, um, we have been doing this for so long. We, 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 are, we have almost perfect the art now, so we did what was expected not only to win the championship, but also to win that 100, which was probably one of the, the biggest race at the, at the um, at champs this year. And the coach Michael Dyke doesn't think his team will be weakening anytime soon. Well, our current team captain has another year, and we, have, we still have the twins, and so, so we have a, a very strong team remaining for next year. So, you know, probably teams that are considering overhauling us next year may not have another guest coming. Captain Leanna Lewis didn't have any doubts about the team retaining their title either. She says the COVID-19 restrictions meant more sacrifices had to be made in the lead-up to championships. I think one of them was that, you know, when you could be home with your family, you have to be here training and working hard. But at the end of the day, it will help us. So I don't think that's anything that is a major setback. I think the most memorable for me is standing out there on the track and watching the girls' excitement on their face. It was one to remember.
time, it was Edwin Allen's Christopher Young who was named champion boy after tallying 24 points at the championships. Young won two gold medals and a bronze, taking the top prize in the javelin and shot put and finishing third in the discus for class one boys. Yes, I did miss. I did. Yeah, because all season I've been doing exceptionally well in all three of my events. So I knew I was going to be on top in the end. Class 1 sprint double champion Brian Lavelle finished third in the run for champion boy with his 18 points. Well, my confidence level miss is now boosted miss because of my achievement that I achieved at the champ miss and it impacted me in a positive way miss because that's giving me a drive to go on and do better miss.